What up, peeps? Did you know that your heart has brain cells in it and over 40,000 neural connections? You know, a lot of people talk about thinking from your heart or, you know, feeling it in your heart and, and speaking from the heart. And uh, they don't know how true it really is. And I, I kind of thought that this was pretty common knowledge, but I realized that there, nothing's common knowledge anymore. Um, and I figured I'd make this to kind of let people, they can go find it on their own and do their own searching. Obviously with Google, I could sit here and spit facts all day and it wouldn't match up to the info you can find. But uh, the heart is obviously the first thing to be formed in a fetus and uh, long before the brain. And uh, the heart is beating before the brain is created. Therefore, it still has a mind, and the mind is within the heart. Now, you could think of the mind as, like, um, think of it as extra storage capacity. Um, you could think of the mind maybe like RAM, I guess, or, you know, as compared to a computer. Um, but your heart and your heart cells would be the actual hard drive. I mean, this is, or should I say the processor? I don't know. I tried to, com I tried to uh, make an analogy c comparing computer parts with the internet, but there were just too many parts and too many involvements. But if you think about it, your heart is affected by emotion, and when you, uh, when you, your uh, heart of heart, or when you have, say, a, a jolt that you know your heart skips a beat, you know all these terms that we use are um, are based on our our. Um, most of our mental focus, our emotion, comes from our heart. When we feel something from our heart, it literally is from the heart and not the mind. And it's almost like we've given the mind all the credit. But the truth is, most of us know that when a loved one dies, like say an old couple and one of them dies, you know, the other one uh, a lot of times will die, you know, very soon thereafter. Or an animal dies and then their companion dies soon after. Um, because my theory behind this is the intermingling... Um, electromagnetic fields uh, that reinforce each other between the two people or two animals and almost like uh, if you're on your own and you have your own little system of energy but when you live with someone or really close to another companion you start to feed each other's fields and uh, when one is gone it's almost like you're missing a part of your energy field so people uh, people are literally heartbroken and heartbreak is a real thing, and that's uh, that was just you know just amazing stuff to me. I just you know when you oh you know oh that hurts my heart you know and people I think often mis misunderstand it and think oh it's just coming from the stomach or it's just nerves in the stomach, um, but the heart really does it really does have its own uh, feelings. I mean it's it's its own thoughts. Your your heart it thinks for you. So while I'm on that subject, I'll just say one last thing about that that I found out that the uh, Actually, the heart and uh, and your cells and your lungs, they all actually have um, the same cells in them that allow that your nose uses to smell. Um, can't remember what they're called, but uh, they're starting to wonder if your organs can actually smell the things you're consuming, just like your nose can. It's kind of a weird thought. You might understand why your body. That might explain why bodies can reject things that are bad, even though your body hasn't digested it yet. You pick it up right away. It's like your body smells it, maybe knows something you don't know. I don't know. Just a thought. Nothing's as fascinating to me though as the brain cells. I think that that's just awesome. I guess they're not brain cells in the heart. They're heart cells, but they're neural connections, and there's over forty thousand of them. Just makes me wonder. What's my heart thinking today? <laughs> Peace.